Hello and welcome everyone to our community call number 10. Uh, it's great to see familiar folks and hopefully some new ones later on will see the recording. We are here to share some exciting updates and which and to and to help keep your projects on the cutting edge of the uh, Thanks for making time in your busy schedule joining us. So let's so let's kick things off. And we've got some exciting development to share from our new dashboard configurations to the latest in our technology with all service VA. And even some crucial updates regarding the testnet changes. And we'll also dive into some uh, new developer tools and close out with a live Q&A session. So get your questions ready. So on the next slide, we have the new dashboard white label uh, configurations. First up, we are excited to introduce a new way to configure your white label settings directly from the web your dashboard. The visual method is intuitive and user-friendly. However, for those who prefer to the code method, you can still use white label data in your code, which will override the dashboard settings. This ensures that your existing configurations remain unaffected while you explore the new options as well. So let's have a look on the I'll give you a small overview of how our customized tab looks. Brave has my tourist account login. So. It's have a look over here for the white labels. Now you have a insert. Uh, we used to have different options for switching on SMS OTP and other options. Now in the project section, my projects. If you have a look, uh, it's. Now there's a new tab added, that's the customized one. So the other tabs that are add-ons, customize. Customize has a overview of how your screen would look, the models would look. If you change, make so changes, these are the logo options. What, whatever what uh, you've been doing on the code side, now you can do it visually. Look at the dark and the light mode, change the logo URL. The, these options were present as code uh, flags. Whether you want to switch it true or off, uh, true or false. So now these are present as buttons. That's the only difference. But just stay sure that uh, whatever is present in the code will override um, the, the dashboard settings. It's purely on your choice whether you want to do it the programmatic way or the visual way. So that's all about. So let's get ahead and start. Continue. Okay. So we on the next slide we have the faster and more secure auth service VA. Let's talk about the enhancement that we made with auth service VA. This update isn't just about speed. It's about creating a seamless, secure user experience, and with significant improvements in the backend, we have managed to not only reduce login times but also bolster our security measures. This is part of our ongoing commitment to like to providing you with tools that are both powerful and trustworthy. So I'll, I guess you, you might have noticed that. If not, I'll try logging in again with the uh, dashboard. I'll log out and show you again how fast it is right now. It has a significant upgrade over the V7 that we had for auth services. You might have felt the difference if you, if it's the Web3 auth has been your daily driver, you would surely feel the difference. Next on, we have simplified wallet connect and SMS OTP setup. Uh, uh, like we've streamlined the process on our dashboard to make this setup a breeze. Whether you're configuring wallet connect 
uh, project IDs or implementing SMS OTP for added security. Everything is accessible and manageable from one central location. This means less hassle and more focus on your project's development. I'll just, uh, it's, you might have noticed, uh, there's a tab next to the customized one, uh, the add-ons. Here you can configure the project ID and save it. You can enable or disable it. And you can even have a, you have a guide to how to set up wallet connectivity. So here's a SMS mm -hmm. OTP for you. And that's about it for this slide. Let's continue ahead. Save your questions for the last. I know there might be some questions. Just, just wait for the last slide. And we have our engineers on board and we'll get your doubts as all well right here. Now let's introduce the Web3 Auth model React hooks package for our React developers. This tool is designed to help you write cleaner and more efficient code. By using React hooks, uh, you can re reduce code redundancy and improve the readability, maintainability of the components. It's all about making your development process smoother and more streamlined. So mm -hmm. you you can you can uh, download this. We have made some bug fixes on our end as well. And right now, the latest is V8.3. You can download it and start oh. using it. We are getting the examples ready on our side as well. We'll post it as soon as it is ready. And you can take a reference from our examples and our docs and get ahead with it. If you are if you're like impatient and you are uh, quite excited to use it, just you can try your hands over on the model React Hubs Next, Next on, we have the Goalie Testnet application. This is a critical update for everyone. With the deprecation of the Goli test nets, we urge you to switch your configurations to Sepulia test nets uh, to avoid disruption uh, due to the decommissioned RPC URLs. Uh, we usually, you, uh, we've seen uh, our community getting uh, a lot of search uh, for these kind of issues. I We understand it's nothing on the Web3 or part, but we understand how it affects our integrations. So just to update you and keep you uh, keep you focused on that, that this change is crucial to prevent those pesky JSON RPC errors and ensure your development uh, continues smoothly without any interest. So, and we've even put out a community post for that. You can have a reference and uh, I've mentioned the dates as well. Uh, I think all of the, the those dates are passed. If you have any goalie based estimates, just switch them to any new uh, chain context. It's just the chain context that needs a change. And developers who've been developing with the three or you know how how small of a chain that is. So yeah, that's all about the goal latest and deprecation. Uh, next, there's the three humans, and uh, I'll invite Ayush from our devrel team to talk more about it. Yeah, Ayush. Hey everyone, I hope you are having a good day. Thank you so much for joining the call. So let's talk about Web3 or humans. So you might be having a question like what, what is Web3 or humans? So Web3 or humans is our take on the ambassador program. And uh, it's basically just like uh, the ambassador program. So we must have been part of the, uh, any product team or the uh, product service teams. So what, what you might have question like what you'll be doing as a Web3 or human, right? So in the Web3 or humans, you will be our voice to spread the awareness about Web3 or Roskite's uh, often hailed as the next big thing for solar panels. They're more efficient than silicon photovoltaics could ever be, and they have higher yields. However, they're... Okay, uh, looks like there was some disturbance. Okay, yeah, sorry yeah, for that. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and human... thank you so much. So, as a Web3 Auth human, you will be basically our voice to spread awareness about Web3 Auth. You might be creating contents around Web3 Auth, like how you can integrate Web3 Auth in React, how you can integrate Web3 Auth in mobile, mobile, US, uh, mobile frameworks. And you, it can be any kind of content. It can be written content. It can be a video content. Or you, you might even write a thread on Twitter about how you can use Web3 Auth, how Web3 Auth helps you to give you embedded wallet services. You can uh, write tutorials around it. You can also organize uh, kind of events where you are a, a speaker and you're talking about Web3 Auth. And you might be thinking like, what course will be getting to be a Web3 Auth and being a voice of Web3 Auth? 
so there are uh, kind of a lot of perks for you being a web three or human a uh, few of the perks that i can mention as of now is like you will be getting custom swags as a web three or i mean who lo- who doesn't love to show off some swags while you are in like some conferences or in some events uh you will be also getting to event tickets like if we are organizing any event you might get event tickets networking opportunities with the team also and you will be getting the insider information about the three or products just before anyone else knows about it so you will be also getting the alpha about the three or so yeah. if you you might be having yeah. a question like hi uh, do you have any question like say Yeah, yeah, I'll move. Uh, okay, I'll show you. So you must be thinking now how you can apply for the three or two men and what are the criteria? So there are no criteria as of now uh, to apply the web three or two men. We just want you to know some a little bit about web three or two and any of the framework out there. It can be web framework, it can be mobile framework. Or even then, if you just are a backend developer, you can still integrate web three or two in the backend. For the Android services, so basically, you uh, if you want to apply for the Web three or uh, human, uh, you just need to verify that you are not a human, right? Like so, solving any capsa. So if you want to apply for the Web three or human, I'll share the link in the comment. Uh, uh, you can apply through that link. Also, I was just kidding. You don't need to solve any recaps. So I just need to fill up a form, and our team will reach out to you for shortlisted. So we are looking forward to get an as much of your time, and do fill up the form if you're interested in the and the program. We're looking forward to have you on board. Thanks, Ayush. Thanks. I'll be pretty excited if I heard that in a community call. Yep. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's get ahead. uh i now let's open the floor for any q and a session uh, for any q and a uh that you have feel free to unmute and interact directly with the engineering team it's a perfect opportunity to get real time answers and save your fingers some time we encourage direct interaction but remember our community forum is always there for your ongoing questions and support so if you have any questions just unmute yourself and it comes i'm ashi i might have a question about uh, the deprecation so yeah. since like polygon mumble is also getting deprecated so do i need to update my sdk do i need to update my sdk or something like that to support or just or i just need to change the chain config for the polygon mumble to the new polygon mumble I don't think if you are on the latest SDK on V eight point three, that is, uh, if I am correct, uh, I don't think you need to do anything else. Uh, if just stay on the latest SDK because uh, we have a lot of uh, security updates, performance updates, and a lot of bug fixes to the latest features that we are pushing out. So if you are on the latest uh, SDK and you have the proper chain config for the even the newest chain, I don't think that is any problem. uh that would cause any problem from us good question ayush thanks i think somebody as is asking a question um if if your jackson is asking whether the ambassador program is basically just for developers Yeah, so it's not uh just for the developers, but we do expect like uh you have a little bit of information of how to integrate uh Metriot in any of the frameworks, so that would be helpful to help anyone because as an ambassador, it's your uh responsibility also to help other people who wants to integrate Metriot. So just a little bit of information of how to integrate Metriot would be really helpful. And if you are looking to learn about how you can want to integrate Web three with any of the frameworks, we do have the docs. So you can go to the docs and uh, have a look over there if you are new new to Web three docs. Thanks for the question. I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Uh, I'm not a dev, but a blockchain enthusiast. Why not? Uh, 
please if you can you're welcome just have a look at the dogs just uh, the, just uh, have a look and just get an a small bit of idea how to integrate the triot and you're good to go there's there's nothing stopping you to apply for this i hope you get selected i think it will it it will be would be accepting non, non dev for the uh as our ambassador if you could write some content about us or share or share to friends who are also into blockchain or development if you can create content that would um that would amplify web three auth then yeah uh we'd we'd be so happy to to invite you to the ambassador program. Thanks, Tim. Yep, that's a great contribution as well. I hope that asking uh uh okay, I'm open to that yeah, I think there's this yeah. guy. You I think he's gonna get selected. Yeah. So if you have any more questions, we'll wait for you for like two moments and then we can wind it. Yeah, sure. We are looking forward to your application. Please apply and yeah. I have another question. Do we do we already have a a schedule or a set meeting for um for the first batch of our ambassadors or yeah, is is it still on the work on the work? I used to have a meeting schedule. Uh, we don't have as of now. We still uh still under work. We will uh let everyone know who is selected uh to the nails, and also we'll post them the Twitter. So if you are on Twitter, do follow us, and you can also hit the notification icon so you get uh, you are always updated with the web your content and information around the web and the program. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Um, also looking forward to knowing where the ambassadors come from, what they're doing, what got them interested to Web3 Auth. So, yeah, it's it's not just hear, you hearing from us, it's also us hearing from you. So, yeah, we're excited to meet you all. That's all for the community call number 10. I hope to meet you in community call number 11, the next one. So, stay tuned. And we'll be, we'll be back with some newer updates. So that's all. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Here we come. Bye.